Ross to solve the system using Kramer's rule, but also give d, d sub x, as well as d sub y. Let's first write the system of equations as a matrix equation, where we will have a two by two coefficient matrix times a two by one variable matrix equals a two by one constant matrix. For the coefficient matrix, the first column will be the coefficients of x, the second column will be the coefficients of y. And therefore the first column is negative one, four. The second column is two, negative five. The variable matrix is x, y, and the constant matrix is negative nine, 24. And now let's find d, d sub x, and d sub y. d is equal to the determinant of the two by two coefficient matrix. d sub x is the determinant of the two by two coefficient matrix after replacing the coefficients of x with the entries from the constant matrix. So the first column is going to be negative nine and 24. The second column remains the coefficients of y. d sub y is equal to the determinant of the coefficient matrix after replacing the y coefficients with the entries from the constant matrix. So the first column remains the coefficients of x, and the second column are the entries from the constant matrix. And now let's find these determinants. D is equal to negative one times negative five, which is five, minus two times four, which is eight. D is equal to negative three. D sub x is equal to negative nine times negative five, which is 45, minus two times 24, which is 48. D sub x is equal to negative three and d sub y is equal to negative one times 24, that's negative 24, minus negative nine times four, which is negative 36. Simplifying, we have a negative 24 plus 36, which is positive 12. And now we have the information we need to solve the system using Kramer's rule, but let's first record d, d sub x, and d sub y. d is equal to negative three, d sub x is equal to negative three, and d sub y is equal to 12. And now to solve the system, x equals d sub x divided by d, y equals d sub y divided by d. And therefore x is equal to negative three divided by negative three, which is positive one, y is equal to d sub y divided by d, which is 12 divided by negative three, which is negative four. So the solution as an ordered pair is one comma negative four. Before we go, let's verify this graphically. I've already graphed the two linear equations on the coordinate plane, and we can see the point of intersection is the point one comma negative four, verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.